From a famous child actor to a math whiz, known as Wayne Cooper from Wonder Years, actor Danica Miller decided to become a mathematician later in life. If you're wondering why, then the short answer would be that she simply wanted to. For the complete explanation, stick around. Welcome to the channel, folks. Today I'm going to talk about how this former child star turned co-author of a groundbreaking mathematical theorem that is named after her. Before we begin, please leave a like and comment on this channel. It really helps it grow and keeps me motivated to make more such videos for you all. Thanks, and let's begin. In a recent interview for ET, Danica McKellar sat down with her 11-year-old son Draco, where he was the interviewer and asked his mom some hard-hitting questions about her career choices. Draco asked questions regarding her years as an actress, to which Danica replied, It was tough juggling work as an actress and a student, as she was struggling to finish her homework. For the folks at home that might not know, Danica was a child actress. Best known for her roles on The Wonder Years in the West Wing, she started acting classes at age 8 and became a pro by the age of 12. She's currently a New York Times bestselling author and has written 11 children's book about math. Getting back to her interview with Draco, Draco asked how she would feel if he decided to pursue a career in acting, to which Danica showed support and said that he could pursue whatever he wanted to. She trusted him with his choices, she also offered him guidance and acting classes, although she wouldn't push Draco in that direction if he didn't want to. Danica has publicly said the math has saved her life. It keeps her sharp and it challenges her brain. She's had multiple talk show appearances where she promotes her books and young women to understand math and end the stigma around it. Danica is also an internationally recognized mathematician and advocate for math education. She's a graduate of UCLA with a degree in mathematics. Danica has been honored in Britain's most esteemed journal of physics and the New York Times for her work in mathematics, most notably for her role as co-author of a groundbreaking mathematical physics theorem which bears her name, the Scheiss mckellar win theorem. In her interview with her son, Draco asked her, why and when did you decide to take a break from acting? To which he replied, I went to UCLA, but when I got to school, everywhere I went, people all over campus would shout across campus, you know, hey Winnie, or hey, loved you on the Wonder Years. McKellar said of her character on the show, Winnie Cooper, I couldn't get away from it, so I needed to find out how I was valuable outside of Winnie Cooper, and math was challenging, and I did well at it. And I love this feeling that my value, the important stuff, had nothing to do with how I looked or television. Danica wanted to feel valued and not for her character in The Wonder Years, or the way that she looked, and math provided her that opportunity. She was good at it, and it didn't matter how she looked while doing it. She does not do a lot of on-screen roles, but she does a lot of voice work for animated films. McKellar married composer Michael Verda on March 22, 2009 in La Jolla, California. The couple had dated since 2001 and had their first child, Draco, in 2010. McKellar has homeschooled Draco his entire life, and many of her math book's themes are inspired by at-home instruction. Her son's name, which is the Latin word for dragon as well as a constellation, was her husband's idea. Draco is 12 years old right now and loves math and spending time with his mama. Danica has made it a priority to find her time in her busy acting schedule to promote math education, often appearing around the country as a speaker at national mathematics conferences. I've made it my priority to bring you the best and most entertaining news of our time. Thank you for watching and let me know who you'd like me to cover in my next video. Drop it in the comments, let's hear it. Till next time.